Matlin and Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Frank, start with tonight. What a card, top to bottom. We've seen Nathan Heaney in a terrific fight. who came in as an underdog, produced a great performance against Denzel Bentley. Just start with that one. Well, that was like a that's a fairy tale story, isn't it, for him? I mean, he's come into boxing, at a late, professional boxing at a late age, and he's just got better and better in every fight. And I thought he boxed extremely intelligently and well tonight. You know, he. he, he you know, Denzel's no slouch. I mean, you think two fights, is it two fights ago, Denzel fought for the world title? he done a better job than the world champion against Denzel. So, you know, he, he, he's shown that he deserves to be up there and he's, uh, and he's done extremely well. And Denzel will come again. You know, for me, uh, Queensbury, the fighters that we work with, they're two of the real good guys that we work with and that we really, really, you know, appreciate and we love working with them. And it's a shame you have to have a loser. So Denzel will come again. Who knows, may get a rematch down, down the road. We'll work something out. But I just thought that Nathan, it was Nathan's night and Nathan done extremely well. What about Nick Ball tonight as well? He's former world champion. He's got a new growing. Star, we? Yep. You know, he's been, he's look, getting better and better in every fight. And, the, and there's no doubt about it that he, you know, he deserves to be there. Isaac Dogbo's a very, very accomplished fighter former world champion and uh, you know there was he had to keep Nick had to be at the top of his form and on his toes and he, he's just he's relentless he, I think he's I think he must be stuffed with Duracell batteries the way he fights I mean he's just like something a little bit special and he and you know he like he gets well title now he's a mandatory challenger Frank I've got to ask um, a bit of a confrontation with Adam Cattrall he read a monologue a few weeks ago about Tyson Fury on talk well, what was Tyson what was that Fury. He, he, he had a monologue the other day saying about all the heavyweights and not fighting each other and, and that's not true we've made heavyweight fights with the fighters that are available Tyson Fury against Usyk is the quickest unification match ever been made in the heavyweight division ever in any time no matter what anybody says it was last August that he had his fight with Usyk uh, Joshua and it's been made and it, and it should have happened earlier but they, he was injured and he pulled out Usyk but it's been made and, and, it's, and I find it ridiculous that the, the, the way they keep talking about it and people are trying to duck it. I know what was going on behind the scenes because I was involved in it behind the scenes and it's total bullshit. Frank, how quickly can we see Nick Ball fight for that world title? Obviously he was, he was excellent tonight. Well, we've got to speak to the WBC and see what they do. He's the mandatory now so he's in that spot and they'll and no doubt they'll order, order it in due course. And Liam Davies, he was a, a fantastic oh, tonight, great well fight. He boxed bloody brilliantly tonight, Liam. I thought he, he'd done well. He got clipped himself, but he got up and got over it and, uh, you know, against a competitor. And he's doing it a traditional way, British now he's the European champion. What's next for him? Obviously, he's not far off a world title shot now, Liam. No, obviously, I, I, I knew he's I, I, there. I next year, he'll, I'm quite sure by next year, he'll fight for a world title, no doubt about it. I mean, this has been a great night, hasn't it, for British boxing? It's been fabulous, fabulous fights. You know, for me as a promoter, this is you know, it's like manna from heaven. We've, we've not had a bad week this week, and this, this has been a, a bit of a cherry on the cake for us. And my final one, Frank, obviously in the week there was some great press conference from, hosted by yourself, but especially the one on the Wednesday, obviously. Isn't it refreshing that you, you've done co-promoted fights before, but obviously now this is the one where you're all on the top table together. Well, we do, do co-promoted fights for the time tonight, co-promoted fights. We've done co-promotion with Top Rank, just they had Isaac Dogbo. Um, there's a couple of other fights on there. I can't remember really who the promoters were at the time, but every one of them you listen to the announcement in association with, it's the same thing. We've always done it. It's no different for us.